Hey guys, uh, what's up? This is Richard again for another edition of uh, Learning with Rich. Okay, in this topic, I'm going to teach you how to uh, select items in uh, select items for class detection in Abyssworks Manage. So this is the continuation of our discussion of class detective two in Abyssworks Manage. Okay, so to configure the first uh, clash test. So I'm going to open the clash detective window. Again, it can be found from the home tab, tools panel. So you can see there the clash detective. Okay. Okay. So clash testing requires uh, uh, thinking, uh, forethought to be successful. So if you are worried about an entire discipline clashing with another discipline, so it's easy to select two files in the select tab. So like here, okay? So you can go from the select tab and then from here you can click from uh, here on the set A and then here on the set B. So it's kind of selection A versus uh, selection B, okay? So when you wish to check um, specific objects between the two models, this can be done if they are grouped into layers. So if you go to the rules here, so there are some rules that you can ignore clashes be in between, okay? Ignore clashes between. So items in same layer, items in same group. So this is more on AutoCAD. So items in same file, okay? And items with coincident uh, snap points. Okay, so if I'm going back to the select tab, so the way you uh, configure your clash is by selecting, like what I have said earlier, selecting one item in selection A and another in selection B. So if you're going to click the drop down here, the drop downs shown in these selection columns are identical. Okay, so you see, uh, so it is identical. So you have standard, compact, uh, properties, and uh, sets okay so the drop down shown in this selection columns are identical to the drop down in selection tree okay you remember the selection tree okay the one that we are using during the first part of our training for Nabis works okay this is the selection tree this one okay remember this so this is the selection tree so the selection tree drop down is actually the same also with your uh, selection in the Clash Detective. You see, uh, you have also standard, compact, property, sets, okay? So let me just close this one. So the drop-downs shown are identical. So which gives you the power to accurately choose the objects uh, you wish to test. So when you say standard, okay, standard option displays the default tree uh, hierarchy so it includes all the items that narrow down to geometric components so if i click this one as you can see it will narrow down to its uh, gen uh, geometric components okay the uh, another uh, option here is compact so the compact option is a simplified version of the tree hierarchy and narrows down to items okay so the properties option list items based on item properties so the sets option this is the properties that, that i'm talking about the item properties so the sets option shows all the selection and search sets created in the project okay if you still remember i have discussed with you guys on how to uh, save a search and selection sets okay on my uh, previous exercises. So in the sets option, it will show you all the selection and search sets created in the project. Okay, so in our selection A, so you can select here one item or a set of items to be clashed uh, from the list. Okay, in selection B, you also need to select the item or sets of the items to be clashed against the first set in selection A. So you can also uh, use control and shift, okay? Control shift to select more than one item to test, okay? So directly under both uh, selection columns 
are six buttons. So this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So after the selection, so you have here the uh, six selection, uh, six buttons here. So the first three buttons in both selection columns, so you see it's just the same. Okay. The first three buttons in both selection columns allows you to define what type of objects in your selection you wish to clash. So there are three types to choose from. One is surfaces, lines, and points. The first, of the, the first bottom represents the surfaces. So when surfaces is selected, the clash test will check to find any instance where two surfaces of the selected objects intersect uh, one another. Okay, so this is typically used in models with 3D solid geometry like our rabbit model. Okay, so the next button here is lines. So when this button is selected, all lines in the model will be tested. So this is especially important when clashing pipes are items with laser lines. So you need the line selected with pipes because of the center line representation shown in the pipes 3D model. Okay, so the last button is points. Okay, so when points is selected, all points in the model will be included in the clash test. So this is quite critical if you are clashing point clouds. So point clouds have no surface planes but can still be clashed if points is selected. So when more than uh, one of these three types of clash types are chosen, each type of geometry will be clashed against the other types. So points will be tested against surface and lines if all three are selected. See? Okay, right? So after the clash geometry button, so these are the clash geometry buttons, these three here. So you also have here the self-intersect, okay? This allows you to set whether you want to test the geometry selected against uh, itself. Actually, I do not advise this option because any objects that have connections with themselves will show up as clashes so it's kind of funny it will gives you some results that is uh, funny okay so the benefit okay so that's the setback so the benefit of uh, self-intersect is that you can detect any time a model in selection a is in conflict with itself and any time a model in selection b is in con uh, conflict with itself so uh, while you are still testing when the model in selection a is in conflict with the model in selection b okay the last two buttons here allows you to select geometry from the scene view so you can actually select from here from our scene view so use <coughs> this one use current selection allows you to select the geometry you wish to clash directly from the scene view Okay, so it can be selective. So you just need to simply select the geometry you wish to be selected and then uh, click the Use Current Selection button. Okay? Right? The objects you selected will automatically be selected in the Clash Detection Select tab. Okay? So here on our Select tab. So the Select in Scene option, the second one, will select all the objects in the model that have been selected in uh, selection A or selection B. So this allows you a quick visual of the objects currently included in the test. Okay? So after this button, so we have settings here. Alright? So that is our settings uh, tool. Okay, the setting tools or the setting groups box allows you to set the types of clash. So the tolerance of the clash. So you can see there's the tolerance, there's the type and timeliner links. Okay. So if I'm going to expand this, as you can see for the type, I have here four options. Okay. The hard type, this one, finds two objects that intersect each other. So, 
Hard consecutive tests find where two objects intersect each other and where possible clashes might occur. So the conservative nature is required because Navis Works uses tessellated geometry so that some plane clashes are overlooked. Okay? So hard consecutive uh, uh, conservative, I mean, will produce more false uh, positives, okay, but will also give more true clashes. The clearance type, this one, finds where two objects come within a specified distance of each other. So the specified distance is controlled by adjusting here the tolerance. So whatever tolerance you specify creates an imaginary surface that is offset from the object by the amount specified. Okay, so when any two of these surfaces are in conflict, a clash will be identified. Okay, so the, the fourth type is duplicate. So the duplicate types uh, finds two intersecting objects that must be identical, both in type and position, and marks them as a clash. Okay, so the tolerance option, this one. Tolerance option controls the severity of clashes reported and is used for hard and clearance clashes. So when used for hard clashes, tolerance ignores any clashes that are within the specified tolerance distance. Okay? So let's say, for example, if the tolerance was set to one half inch, okay, one half inch and a sparse and a fire sprinkler main was in conflict with the water line by 1 over 100 inch, the clash would be ignored. Okay? So basically, uh, that's how the tolerance, uh, that's how the toleran wor tolerance work. Okay? So the other option here is link. Okay? The link option enables you to link a clash test to a schedule in Timeliner or to an object animation scene. So steps... Enable, this one, step ena enables you to control the interval size to use when looking for clashes in simulation sequence. So this refers on how geometry in the scene will be retested in a different position. Okay, so after you configure the settings of your clash uh, detective, okay, so you just need to click here, run test, okay? So, another thing is, items that have been hidden will not be included as part of the clash test. So, items that are sectioned will be included. Okay? So, basically, th these are the basic things that you need to know in setting up your clash uh, detective tool. Alright? So, on our next exercise, we are going to discuss how to work with clash test results. Okay? So hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can just put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright? So once again, this is Rich. So don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.